Mm. Good morning. Today I'm doing just a quick introduction video to my next project here, which I've completed. This is a six basket under counter snack rack. It's not fine woodworking. This is supermarket furniture. And I, ha I designed this product to hold these baskets. That's its primary function. And hold six baskets with the product in it. That's what it looks like. So you can get six different flavors in there for a nice color array of product. And I'm going to make 25 of these uh, for this production run. Another aspect to the design of this kind of product, which makes it challenging, is that it has to be knockdown construction. And that means the product has to be simple to take apart and reassemble. And this unit is held together with just four bolts. So it takes about a couple minutes to put together. And it's fairly sturdy. It's, it's not overbuilt, but it just has to hold up potato chips. So for supermarket furniture, it's actually quite nice. Um, so the design of the product is kind of focused around being able to take it apart and wrap it up in boxes like these. And these will be shipped all over the country and to trade shows. So in this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different uh, that I have not done before in my videos. And I don't know if anybody has done this before, but what I'm going to do is use the video footage that I take of the process. So I'm going to be doing the same thing I've done in other videos, but I'm going to be measuring the time very accurately from these videos. So I'll take clips measure the time it takes to do each step and I can kind of take multiple measurements because I, I do multiple shots of each step as I go along so I can get an average time for each step and then add that up at the end and then factor in all the other costs the cost of the materials figure out how much time it takes like very accurately how what, what it takes to produce these and I can kind of analyze the process a little bit. Uh, it's something that I think will be very helpful for me in my process. I guess I can point the camera at myself for a little while, it's okay. Uh, but estimating jobs is one of the most difficult things to do when you're approaching woodworking as a business. Uh, it's something that's very important you have to do it you have to know how long it takes you to do stuff uh, but it's very difficult to measure the time that you actually spend doing something in the shop I, I, you know it's like I'd be when I start building and I'm into the process you know it's like a time warp you know hours will just fly by uh, <coughs> and I don't know how much time I spend on things people ask me like how long did that take you to build Usually, I have no idea. I mean, I kind of estimate jobs based on, uh, you know, a feeling I've developed for how much work I can get done in a day. Uh, you know, but if I'm just doing it on a minute-by-minute -minute basis, I really have no idea, like, how long it takes me to do a particular thing. So, uh, hello, kitty. Can you smell something? So, I've done these rack jobs before. Uh, but I've never really actually tested my estimation. Uh, I've just done small production runs of 25 or 50. But I, theoretically, uh, if I get an order for these for, say, 200 or 1,000, uh, you know, I want to know exactly what's involved with that. I want to know if the product is profitable. Because sometimes, you know, not everything can be made for a profit. So it's important to know how much time it takes. So I'm using this video footage <coughs> to record it. Uh, I'm also going to be doing some real-time footage uh, instead of speeding it up real fast. So I'll, I'll show that as well as the sped-up footage. And that's just for illustration purposes, because uh, another use of these videos uh, that I make for myself uh, is that if I have to train an employee, which is another big thing about uh, woodworking as a business, <coughs> uh, I haven't really 
gone into that. I have, you know, some part-time employees that, you know, do specific things when I need them to, or that they're like on call. Um, but I, I've never had a dedicated full-time employee, so I've never taken that big step. But, you know, eventually, you know, I could be making more of these things that I would need an employee. And I need the information uh, about this product if it's going to work as a business model. Uh, so, uh, you know, if I get an order for a thousand of these, how many employees do I need? Uh, what can I pay them? Uh, and is this product going to work? So that's the information I can get out of analyzing the building process in the manner that I'm going to do. So, that being said, um, I hope you enjoy the video footage and I always appreciate getting the feedback, seeing what you guys like looking at. This is obviously not, you know, a difficult, complicated job, but it is actually very difficult design-wise uh, to get a process that does not have any ext extra steps. You know, I'm, I'm minimizing my tool operations in this job and, you know, material handling and, uh, you know, the, the placement of materials in the shop and how, uh, you, you know, the assembly operations are set up are very critical in achieving that efficiency goal in, in the building process that uh, I am, I am rambling on, I am rambling on. So here's the product. I built 25 of these, well, actually 26, because I, I did an extra one that I had already shipped out because they needed it. Uh, so enjoy the video. Deep River Snacks. This is actually my favorite flavor. The cracked salt and pepper. Very tasty.